Welcome to MRS Bulletin's Materials News Podcast, providing breakthrough news and interviews with researchers on hot topics in materials research. My name is Laura Lay. Occasionally, we all come across results that, at first glance, just don't make sense. We question the methodology and equipment setup. We probe deeply and sometimes we find something unexpected. This is exactly what a team of researchers at MIT and Michigan State University encountered. Do we expect this? No, it's kind of break our common sense. Postdoctoral researcher Xin Hu Liu from MIT was involved in a surprising discovery that a hydrogel can absorb more water at elevated temperature. Now this is counterintuitive. Thermodynamics suggests that absorption is more favourable at a lower temperature. Liu and the team were searching for a way of harvesting water from the air without using a lot of energy. They wanted to tackle the problem of water scarcity and find a way of generating water sustainably. To do so, they tested many different sorbents. Most sorbents, such as zeolite and silica gel, have a structure that doesn't change much when it is absorbed water, but polyethylene glycol, or PEG, hydrogel that the team synthesised is different. While it's semi-crystalline at 25 degrees Celsius, it becomes amorphous at 50 degrees Celsius. This structural change means that more adsorption sites are available at the higher temperature. As water is adsorbed, it causes the hydrogel to swell, opening up further adsorption sites. The PEG hydrogel monomers are star-shaped, forming a network where the molecular weight can be precisely controlled. The shape of the monomer leads to very homogeneous structures, facilitating crystallization. And the star shape has very uniform molecular weight in each arms, and this kind of uniformity leads to higher crystallinity in the hydrogels. The PEG hydrogel exhibited a water uptake of 0.5 grams per gram of polymer at 50 degrees Celsius and 50% relative humidity, with half this water uptake at 25 degrees Celsius in the same humidity. The team developed a thermodynamic theory to understand the fundamentals of the unusual water absorption behaviour. The theory closely matched the experimental results, which means that it can be used to guide the continued development of materials that exhibit this surprising behaviour. There's more work to do for this unusual phenomenon to find a real-world application. The team is aiming for a device that can passively produce 5 litres of drinking water in arid conditions found in the desert. For Xinhui, this real-world application is highly motivating. We want to translate this kind of knowledge to solve the real-world challenge. The most surprising thing is that how to connect from my background, I'm a material science as a DIR device research laboratory, they cares more about the real world applications. And when we think about this, it's really motivated us or excite us to pursue the fundamental knowledge. Another application lies in cooling systems. Just a small input of energy would cause the PEG hydrogel to cool releasing water which would evaporate and take heat energy with it, leading to further cooling. This interesting polymer could also be used for energy storage, humidity regulation and more. This work was published in a recent issue of Advanced Materials. My name is Laura Lay from the Materials Research Society. For more news, log on to the MRS Bulletin website at mrsbulletin.org. Follow us on Twitter at mrsbulletin. Don't miss the next episode of MRS Bulletin Materials News. Subscribe now. Thank you for listening.